That didn't sound right. No, sure didn't. Hey, Jason. Hi, Jason. <laughs> You're usually Jason, so I just did something. Like <laughs> Funny. Welcome back to Moto Photo Adventures, everybody. I'm just kidding. This is our good friend, Bill, who's come over to help me with a video today. Hi, folks. Jason is very busy running cameras today. <laughs> he's, he is. Our, he's our director. He is. <laughs> but listen, man, I uh, got so a call from you. director and sensei. Yes, yes. Got it. Uh, you been watching Cobra Kai? Yes, absolutely. I was born, you know, in, in that era. In that era. My wife and I are watching Cobra Kai. It's a, you know, fun little show. Yes. Anyway, uh, you well, reached out and said that you had uh, BMW tires, and we have not changed any BMW tires on our new Rabiconda set. Correct. So we said, let's get together and change some tires. Yes. Went something like that? Something like that. But I heard that you contacted Rabiconda, and we have a new tool because your bike has the BMW shaft drive. Correct. You want to present this? Let yeah, us know absolutely. a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, so I reached out to them in California, spoke to a gentleman there, and I said, hey, I said the, the nice folks over at uh, Photo Motor Adventure has offered to help me uh, and teach me how this tool works uh -huh. and install the new wheels. Uh -huh. And uh, I said, but uh, they don't have this specific um, adapter mm -hmm. I said so I would like to pay for it and uh, go ahead and ship it out to the guys and anyway there's a long story that goes with it but uh, Jackson your good friend Jackson yes. got involved yeah and he said oh we got a new video from a BMW that's wonderful uh -huh. so let me ship that to you so oh that was here, very here nice of him thank you Jackson we really appreciate you Absolutely. helping us and Bill that was very kind of you yeah if you guys haven't seen our previous videos we've done several videos about the install and assembly and process of changing tires but today we're just going to do a little um, on the run tutorial so that we can show you how easy it is to operate one of these Rabiconda tire changers because Bill's going to change his tires for the first time. So to be clear, I've never done this. Chris will be the guy to blame if this goes sideways. <laughs> hey, now, throwing me under the bus already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it, yeah. By the way, before we actually started recording, you know, you and I got here to uh, Moto Photo Adventures Studio B uh, before Jason did because Jason was on a photo shoot. And... Uh, I just want to tell you, I appreciated talking to you, and thank you for your service, being a law enforcement. And oh, absolutely. All that good stuff. Absolutely. Anyway, shall we get started? Yeah, super. All right. Well, first step, of course, we got to take your old one off. Yes. So let's uh, set that one aside. What, what were your old tires? These are... Uh, uh, the, these were Carew 3, Metzler, Metzler. Carew 3s. Okay. Um, no complaints you were fine. You're just getting kind of worn. So we have a super fun event coming up next month, and I want some fresh rubber. I love it. Well, first step, obviously, is we need to put our Pull BMW um, adapter adapter on. So, so you... the uh, the way I understand this, this is actually a, a 62 millimeter and a 72 millimeter adapter. So depending uh, on which way you turn it, right? So let me see the numbers uh, on that. Certainly. So this this side has 62 millimeter. If your tire has the 62 millimeter opening. And then on this side is the 72. Correct. So you just flip it around to whichever size. And which wheel do you have? 62. 62. Yeah. So we'll put the 62 millimeter side. Fits like a glove. Yeah, and that fits right in the hub. And then this, uh, this guy here just uh, screws right in. I'll tell you, these things feel amazing. You think it's aluminum? I think so. It's like uh, this. I didn't ask, but it, but it certainly looked like some kind of a T60, 61 aluminum yeah. uh, machined. All, all this stuff that Rabiconda makes, man, they just feel like they're works of art. Absolutely. They're not cheap. They're not chintzy feeling, you know? Nope. But Certainly feels good. That's on there. Yep. Now, another reason why you are doing all of the muscle today is because I injured my wrist. So let's see you put that up and put it on our Absolutely. <laughs> tool I'm gonna here. Absolutely. Start this side so I can take the, the valve out. All right. Fits like a glove. Fits like a glove. Excellent. And we have this little uh, handy dandy removal tool. I do like the right angle um, valve stems that BMW gives you.
While we're waiting for that to take place, yep. you can go ahead and mount the uh, strap at the bottom. So between two and three o'clock? Yep. Not past three o'clock? Correct, yep. Uh, and that's because of the TPLS monitor? Yeah. So your TPS monitor is in here. We want to keep that in this little zone in here just to uh, keep it free from the bead breaker and all that other right. mechanism. So Rebeconda told me to wrap it around two spokes. Yep. And so did you. And uh, try to come straight down to where the location will be where the strap goes. So that is right here. Bound up there. That should be good. Got it. No, yeah, how does that feel to you? Perfect. Good. Now, okay. of course, of course, the Rabaconda tool does come with a bar for if you have cast wheels, but because you have spoked wheels, spoked we wheels. want to use these to protect your spokes. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, bead breaker. See if it lines up. Yep. I think I think we already got that matched, but go ahead and check. That looks good to you. Pretty close. All right. Fantastic. Shall we soap it down? Sounds great. And you pre-mixed this with your special formula, didn't you? Yeah, very special. I, <laughs> I have to ask my wife what it is, but I believe it's uh, just Dawn. Dawn, Dawn plus Dawn, water. Dawn plus water. If it's good for ducks and mixed, duck heads. Mixed to taste, just like the muffins that she sent. Yep. I'm not joking. Her, his wife sent over uh, blueberry... What were they? Blueberry. Oh. Okay, so this is the first mistake. You're right. I got ahead. You did. My so, fault. My so, fault. I led you wrong. No, no. I think I led myself <laughs> wrong. <laughs> All right, so let's pull this off at this point. You know what my wife is doing right now? What's that? She's sitting on the couch laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. <laughs> all right. Be patient, it'll come. Yep. There it is. There it is. Love it. All right. Yeah. So up and over. Swap it around. You must have watched a video or two. I'm not having to do much to school you at all well <laughs> to be honest with the audience you did uh, give me some good pointers ahead of time and uh, I watched your video yay your tire thanks man absolutely okay good to go yep remember little grabs and it'll come put some mozzarella into it isn't that what they say yeah. up in New York uh, is that kind of where you're from originally? The uh, Northeast? Connecticut, yeah. Connecticut, okay. Never heard of the mozzarella one. Put some mozzarella in it. I think if you're telling, you have to use these fingers. Yes, yeah. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Okay, That's now enough. we can tie it off and yeah. now we can put the duck head on. Correct. And once we put Rotate. the TPMS monitor between 2 and 3 o'clock. There you go. All right. Well, that worked out well because they've got the strap already halfway there. Yep. All right, let's see here. Through like this. Oops. A little bit of swing, a little bit of give. That'll work. All right. So. Duck head. Uh oh, we didn't tighten that. That's okay. That's okay. Just, just tighten it up a little bit for now. So we slide this on. Yep. And then we raise this up. I remember you telling me that. And I got to make sure that this is seated properly. Yeah, get it nice and tight. Nice and snug down there. Mm -hmm. And then we tighten it up. You got it. That felt kind of weird. Should it go down or up? It doesn't matter. It just as long as it tightens up. It tightens the two together. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm looking through there. All right, so we have TPMS between two and three. We have the duck head um, on top, and you told me specifically 
uh, top for one and bottom for the other. Let's see if you can remember which one's uh, which. I believe I'm supposed here, to here. start at the bottom to yeah. take it off. Okay, so we This will jog your memory is this thing. Remember where this goes? Yes, absolutely. Now I do. All right. So we take this guy here and we make sure that we have the handle handy. You got it. Uh, we'll stick that right in here. Like just so. Mm -hmm. And then I believe this goes uh, over this. Uh-uh. Other side of it, but you're right. It goes there, but it's going to go under here. Yeah. Nope, the other way. There All you go. All right, underneath, and then grab the tire. Gotcha. And I remember yeah. when you start pulling that over, it's going to want to slip that S way. Slip over the rubber. So just right. keep it in tight. Yeah, might have to muscle it a little bit. Why is this guy sliding all over the place? Getting there? Mm, this guy keeps moving on me. Is it not tight? Let's, let's loosen is that this. The I don't know. Let's try. Loosen this guy. Push it in a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. You know what? There's a gap. Yeah, there. it does that. Uh, it does a gap? Yeah. So if I push down on it? Yep, will just that keep help? your knee in there and. And that helps. It's still mm -hmm. slipping. That's okay. If you, here, I can wipe it off a little bit. Let me come back. Might give it a little bit more grip. Wipe the back side of that. Yeah. Might still have some tire grease all over it. Yeah. All right. So, there. And grab that. I think we're good. Mm -hmm. Raise this up. There it Hide goes. it behind. And then foot on the Rabaconda, hold on to the handle. <laughs> we got an awkward start. Yeah, we sure do. You're okay. That's right. We'll go there. Now you got that. Yep. You can drop that. Keep your foot on the base. Look at that. Right off. Piece of cake. Beautiful. Go ahead and put it all the way back to the back bottom to again. Six. Yep. And then under here. Yep. You're going to reach all the way back and get the second lip of the tire back there. And bring that forward. Much easier this time. All the way to the back. You want me to grease it a little more? Yeah, let's spritz that a little bit more. I'll get the back side for you. Thank you. All right, that should help. <clears throat> Use the ratcheting mechanism. There you go. Well, just yeah, get it where it's comfortable for you. Remember you asked me Can which I see was the spitzer? Yep. Just get a little you more. asked me which was easier, front or back? Yes. And <laughs> now you know why back. No, no. <laughs> there you go. Whoa. That didn't sound right. No, sure didn't. I just broke the TPMS. Oh, day. oh no. Son of a gun. Oh, dang it. Dude. Yeah, it's over here. <gasps> well, that's not the video we wanted to make. No, it's no. not. How did, where did it end oh, off? Oh my Lord. I don't know. Well, that didn't work so well. <laughs> no, it, it sure didn't, did it? Here we are one week later, you guys, and we're here to tell you what actually happened after our little mix-up. So uh, give us a little scoop here, Bill. Well, so I'm gonna blame this solely on you, of course. Of course, of course. Uh, I'll, take the, blame. I'll take the blame. And I, and I was brand new at this. I did buy you coffee, and, so uh, be, yes. be easy. This, 
<laughs> Thank you. And you bought my wife coffee. So, uh, yeah, so this is what happened. Uh, I'm actually pretty mechanically inclined, and I'm, I'm actually usually pretty good at this stuff. And uh, I'm thinking about all the different uh, tires in the last 10 or 20 years that I've done with spoons. Yeah. So I figured this was a breeze. But uh, at any rate, it's 100% my fault. No, uh, it's not. Well, I should have been watching better. Yeah, because guys, guys are going to go back and laugh at me, and they're going to see the amount of force and me cranking down on that handle. I should have immediately stopped. Uh, he did say that the uh, sidewalls are tight, tight, so I have to push hard. Yeah. Uh, but at any rate, they, obviously, they, this shouldn't have been this bad. Uh, so what happened? The edge of the tire caught the TPMS monitor. Mm-hmm and snapped it right off yeah. and it went flying <laughs> and those aren't cheap no they're not uh bmw very proud of their tpms monitor <laughs> they're 308 dollars and 95 cents oh, and can you imagine um, would they even have it in stock you'd have to order no probably. uh i had to overnight it okay now i big shout out velocity power sport can uh -huh. i uh-huh sure oh, of course okay you went to so, the, the formerly champion honda big, version uh, well, they actually closed that location, so they're now in Ladson. Okay, you went and, to Ladson uh, go, location. And those, uh, for all you guys with BMWs, uh, <laughs> specifically, because that's who I deal with, which is uh, Zach in, uh, at Parts There, mm -hmm. what Velocity did for me was absolutely huge. Um, they overnighted it, and they said, because I'm an existing customer and bought a bike there, and I buy other things from them. Uh -huh. uh, they only charged me 10% over the overnight fee. Okay, cool. Uh, That's very nice. That overnight fee was $10, Sweet. my part. Nice. So that tells me that was 100 bucks to overnight that thing. Okay, that's very so, cool. So, yeah, that was huge. And anyway. Then, and then you, being mechanically inclined, were fiddling with it. I was. So uh, there is something called an angle valve. Uh-huh. Uh, and then the TPMS monitor sits underneath, obviously inside the wheel angle valve on the top. Uh, there is a um, screw that holds this assembly together. Yep. And uh, I was worried about two things. It went flying, obviously. Oh, hit, man. hit the garage floor pretty <laughs> All hard. All over the place. So I was concerned, did I ruin the inside of it? Uh-huh. Um, and also, when I picked it up and looked at it closely and separated it, there is a uh, plastic collar on the TPMS that yep. actually seats inside the wheel. Yeah. About half of that was gone, mm -hmm. uh, cracked off. So we were concerned, is it gonna seat properly in the wheel? Right. So we, we took a gamble. We went ahead and just ordered the angle valve piece, 42 bucks, a lot not better than bad, 308. Not bad, not bad. Shipped that, uh, long story short, uh, I brought it down to Velocity so BMW could uh, mount it and test everything for me. Uh -huh. And I said, while you're there, why don't you throw my new tire on for me? We'll go ahead and balance it. Okay. Brought it home, mounted it, tested it. Everything is a okay. Sweet. So, so that is good. So <laughs> uh, I'm now forever going to be known as the idiot on YouTube. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> that puts uh, 1,800 pounds of force. No, listen. On the Rabaconda handle. Uh, I mean, if if we were worried about what other people think, we wouldn't even air this episode. Right. But right. it's a learning opportunity for others to 100%. realize. If you go to the Rabaconda website, I mean, they specifically say you got to start here and you got to do this if you don't want to damage your TPS sensor. So it was totally our fault for not having done our proper research. Um, but this video hopefully will save somebody else from going through what you went through. Exactly. And again, big shout out to Jackson. Thank yeah. you so much. Uh, I'd love to do another video for the next rear tire <laughs> uh -huh. where we actually do it correctly Correct. with a with a specific adapter that fits onto the Rabaconda uh -huh. to do your uh, single mounted swing arm mounted uh, BMW rear wheel. Bill, always fun. We're looking forward to camping out with <laughs> yeah. you next week. Yeah, and that's going to be awesome. Got a got a fun trip coming up, you guys. Please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, check out the episodes coming up from Whalen Wayne Weekend. We got a lot of fun content coming out soon. Oh, no.